What's up guys, Scipio Apricanus here. So I just recently got my 1878 Dutch Beaumont up and shooting. It's a fun as hell rifle to hit the range with what with its massive smoke screens and pretty good kick. Also, the looks I get when I walk into the range with a shootable spear, it's pretty entertaining. I mean, just check this shit out. Now getting guns like this, or the Vetterly up and shooting is quite the task. You can't just hit up your local store and pick up ammo. And if you can find loaded ammo online, you're gonna pay a hefty price per round. Hell, even the sole casings for these can be like two bucks each. And we're not talking, again, we're not talking loaded ammo, we're, we're talking about the simple casings. Now, while it is quite a task to, uh, you know, get these up and shooting, it's also pretty damn fun and it's pretty rewarding. So let's go into the process of me getting ammo for my Dutch Beaumont. So first off, I wasn't planning on buying the pre-made brass. Uh, I was just going to make my own. I, I just think it's a lot more fun that way and plus pre-made brass. Again, is a little more pricey. To do this, I ordered some brass for a 5090 sharps to be the parent case. Next up, I needed the stuff to form the actual case. And I couldn't find dies for my Dutch Beaumont. Improvised time. I found that if I run the case through an 8mm Lebel sizer, then a 4570 sizer, and then finally a 45 Long Colt sizer, then I'd have something that fits in the chamber. This, of course, is all done after trimming the parent case down, which I just used a copper pipe cutter. Easy peasy. However, what I found out what wasn't actually easy fucking peasy, though, was actually forming the damn case. So, I cut them down to proper size, you know. Then I literally have to fucking slam them into the first sizer. Like, I expect there's a muscle work, but not full force slamming. Needless to say, I'm sure my neighbors were entertained by the weird grunting and slamming noises going on next door. The other sizers weren't so bad, it was really just that first one that I needed to slam. Uh, anyhow, once done and trimmed more, I got stuff like this. Not uniform, of course, but when fired, they conform to the chamber and, uh, well, become uniform. Now, as for finding the powder charge, well, this is where it becomes interesting. You see, a problem with a lot of these old, oddball black powder guns is that people want to load them with smokeless powder. I mean, I get it. It's way easier to clean, but that shit's fucking lame, dude. So anyways, I had to hunt for a load, and the only one I could find was for 1.5F powder. You see, I have 4 pounds of 2F powder. I'm not ordering more of another type of powder. So, let's just say uh, I applied what I knew from other black powder loads. Determined a 65 grain charge should work, put a string on the trigger, and bam. And seeing this video isn't called How I Blew Up a Rifle, you can tell it worked. Now, as per getting the bullet for this rifle, it was rather easy. I just ordered a mold for a 4570, the sizer to size it down to 457, melted my lead, casted my bullet, sized them down. Easy stuff. I will say, when actually making the ammo, I found that if after running through the first two sizers, you load your powder, seat your wad and bullet, then run it through the 45 long colt sizer, it makes it a hell of a lot easier. Also, after the first shots, you really only need that 45 long colt sizer to crimp your bullets in place, uh, seeing the case is already formed. And then, once all that is said and done, you now have something that every time you walk into the range, you're going to get plenty of, what the fuck is that, reactions from everyone. And also, something that's fun as hell to shoot. So, hope you all found this interesting, and this is Scipio Africanus, signing out.